Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This film session is about how this Cowboys defense got pumped. You know, everything is about setting the tone. Not everything is about yardage. A lot of things don't lie, right? Uh, sometimes, well, let me say this. Statistics sometimes doesn't tell the whole story, right? So, for instance, this tush push thing, right? You would see one carry for one yard. So you'd be like, oh, the Cowboys had a good job in stopping the run. And in uh, reality, you know, no, they didn't. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to go ahead and I got a few plays, man. Hopefully I'm, I'm going to try to condense them because and try to probably keep my talking to a minimum, hopefully, <laughs> because I want to go ahead and really show you like when I mean Dan Quinn and company is really letting us down. I really want to show you that they letting us down. So. Let's talk about this play. This play, let's focus on Mr. Number 11, the Lion, right? Look at the Lion. Look how he defends against this run. Look how he gets dragged. We keep telling you time after time, he is not no he is not no DN. Right? This is tone setter. This is this is at the this is the first drop <laughs> after they didn't disrespected us <laughs> and went for it twice on fourth down. This is the tone setter that our lion that's supposed to be setting tones every single game. That say he's fresh, and he's getting freshly whooped. Come on, let's go to the next play. Stopping a run is about making the plays when it count. And when it counted the most, look how Gangwell is untouched. He's pretty much untouched. Just free to the end zone. Physicality is just... Look at this. Look at where the line of scrimmage is, the new line of scrimmage is at. Look at where the new line of scrimmage at, and look how he's just untouched. Body for a body. Everybody is stuck in a wall. Body, everything. Took it to you. I'm telling you, the things that we wanted, the things that Jerry failed to address, is going to bite us when we play these physical teams all the time. We're 0-3 versus physical teams. I mean, we can not look at the bigger picture. We can not see. We can go ahead and have the moral victories all you want to. But the facts is the facts. You better hope that you don't see these physical teams because you're not built for a tough. Look at this. Next play. You see, we try to use Jordan Lewis. You're talking about, oh, Jordan Lewis. Well, how long Jordan Lewis is supposed to cover? Huh? Huh? Let's count. Let's count when the snap go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come on. Seemed like good coverage to me. You know, there were some plays that when Jordan Lewis gave up, shoot, they wouldn't get in there. I mean, I thought the pass rush helps out the secondary, and the secondary helps out the pass rush. He was 17 for 23, remember that. So what's going on? They had to have some explosive plays. They had to have some chunk plays, plays that matter. They ran the ball when it mattered. There's certain times where you got to get stops, no matter what the – no matter what the – uh, you got to play, like you said, down the distance. And did they do a good job of keeping them out of short yardage uh, predicaments? Nope. Look how clean this pocket is. Look how clean it is. Me and you can go ahead and, and, and make throws for the Philadelphia Eagles with that clean pocket. Look at that. What an inside push that we needed, that we talked about. Who's rushing inside? You got DNs and them rushing inside. Can't get it. Your best pass rush is rushing inside. Micah, can't get it. Can't get it. Mm. Yeah, okay. We didn't get we didn't get punked out there, huh? All right. Look at the flow of the game. Stop looking at statistics sometimes. Sometimes they don't tell the whole story. Look at this. Uh-huh. Where are our backers at? Where are our backers at? Uh, where's my end at? How my end looking? Mm. Inside, huh? Inside, huh? <laughs> Inside, huh? Inside, huh? And my linebackers. This is horrible. 
This is horrible. Well, at least thank you, Kurt, for pushing them back inside. <laughs> what we got going here? Oh, the lion. What the lion doing? What the lion doing? Lion? Inside, bounce back outside, chunk run. Then he look at it. What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? I thought that, I thought that we talked about. <laughs> I thought that we talked about, guys. So I see somebody talking about uh, how he getting hold, how he getting held, bro. Who don't get held? And what you mean held? It ain't no held hold, bro. You you you, bro. You keep jumping inside. What you mean held? Held? Come on, G. He just ain't built to be on the edge. You have to pick and choose when you have him on the edge. You don't, I know you ain't. I know you ain't looking at your teammates or the ref. I know you ain't doing none of that. Bro, he does this every game. Like my hey, my coach told me this when I played in. He said, if you're going to go inside, you best to make the play or I'm going to yank you. He said, if you go inside as a defensive end, you better make the play or I'm going to yank you. How many times do we see our ends, and including Michael Parsons, go inside and don't make the play? Look at that. Boy getting dragged. They took it to you. You was not physical this game. On the defense end, you was not for somebody to be 17 for 23. Passing. And when you look at the Russia, oh, the Russia wasn't bad. Bro, they took it to you. They took it to you. Look at you, look at your leader getting dragged. Cause he ain't big enough. Swift dragging that boy. He ain't big enough. I seen this when I was watching Lock Game. I said, oh nah. getting dragged your defense come on only do this against non-physical teams when it was say look sometimes you got to get physical and he doesn't do that this team doesn't do that and that's why we losing these games i don't know why y'all being encouraged when we go against come on no matter how it look look at this look at this look at this you know it's coming Drag, drag your leader and then went on the head and just put it right down your throat. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't even be intending. In this film session, I wasn't intending to make it about Micah. But look at this. Look at this. This is his fault that he got this, that he got this yards. L look at how everybody at the same level. Right? Look. Look at the level. They they trying to collapse it. They trying to keep him in the pocket. Uh, Sam, uh, uh, Osa, they try to keep him in the pocket, but he overruns it because he's sack hunting. And then when he overruns it to sack hunt, look. Look at it. You see how everybody was pretty much at the same level other than Michael Parsons, and he gave that up. It's about the hidden yardage, y'all. Everybody at the same level, but he's, but he's sack hunting, which gave up that big hole which puts a strain on your back end who already can't cover. He's sack hunting. He didn't even dip. He didn't even dip to go ahead and keep at the same level and go make the play. He's sack hunting. Made it so easy for my lotter to do that. That's easy for my lotter. That's an easy win. When you don't affect the quarterback, this is what happens. Look at that beautiful pocket. Look at that. Nobody around. He just sitting there. Just, he, got a, he got a hurt knee and he chilling. You ain't even going ahead and, and, and making it hard. He got a hurt knee. And Look at that. No inside push. That's what we need. I told you that was our downfall with our pass rush last year, especially in big physical games. And when we want to get some other physical teams, look at, the, look, at the, look at that. Look at your ends and then look at your D tackles. And even if, come on. And even if he probably would have tried to run, he probably would have got that. 
You sure this defense played well, y'all? You sure? Look at this. Missed tackle. Missed tackle. Convert. You sure this team played well? Look at this. Linebacker getting washed. Missed tackle. Missed tackle. You sure? Look at this. He gonna get washed. He gonna get washed down. Missed tackle. That's not a sound defense. Look at this. Right to get out of their end zone. Look what they do. And look at 11. He did this more than once. He ain't even trying to make the play. He just know he just know the inevitable, and he just in there to have fun and go for a ride, bro. You know good and well what you doing right here is not gonna do nothing to impact this play. How you gonna do that? You light body. He's just doing that on purpose, bro. He's selfish. No physicality in there. How the hell you think you gonna stop a tush push with Donovan Wilson and Marquise Bell and Clark and Michael Parsons? All of them light in the ass, and you think that you gonna sit over there and stop this? Hmm. You really thought that you're going to stop it with your light in the ass defense. They punked you. Dan Quinn and them is letting us down, like I said. This is all throughout the game. This ain't plays in the first half. This is a mixture. From the beginning to the ninth inning. It ain't all about yardage, y'all. Sometimes you got to make a play when it needs to be made. And this defense didn't do that. Did they get a couple stops? Yeah. They gave him 28 points. Y'all looking at statistics, but I'm looking at the points. Dan Quinn said that. We, did a, we, did, we didn't do a good job when it came down to keeping them out of third and short, fourth and short. We didn't do a good job on scoring defense. Y'all, I don't care about yardage. What about them points, though? What about holding them to three? And they didn't do that. And that's why we lost. 23 points should have been enough against the Philadelphia Eagles and the Jalen Hurts hurt me. But it wasn't. It wasn't. Dak Prescott can't put it on Dak. I look back at the film. Couple, a couple throws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were some things that, yeah, he missed. But all in all, his misses wasn't enough to hurt this team. What hurt this team is, well, we just told you what hurt this team. And there was a whole lot more plays. I just didn't put them on. But anywho, let y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this film. Till next time.